ending very quickly. We've observed that in the 45 minutes that we've been on air. So we begin with a little bit of good news. Of course, today will be quite cold. Big snow late tomorrow, and then tomorrow night and into Wednesday. Uh, it looks like an opportunity for a couple of inches, like three or less. Really, really cold. As students and parents across the country worry about paying for college, it's worth looking at the experience of one city where everyone who graduates from high school gets a scholarship. It's about money, yes, but it's also about dreams. From NBC's John Yang in Michigan. very beginning was sitting and chatting just like you and I are chatting right now. Very informal, no big meeting called, nothing like that. Just a very informal, I would say comment. It was literally no big deal. But the resilience and the, um, the fortitude to just sort of keep at it. I think that uh, one of the donors described me as, you know, you really have been bugging us, but you've been really nice about it. <laughs> so I think that, in summary, really describes how the promise happened. When the promise was announced, it affected our lives by making us so proud of this community and so proud uh, to be part of such an innovative thing that really so it resonated throughout the country. School was just ending and my mom showed up and it was, I think it was after basketball practice maybe. And for some reason she was like, there were like tears in her eyes and she told us that something fantastic just happened. When I first heard about The Promise, I was at home with my parents and we saw it on the local news. And the first thing we did was we called our other family in the area to see if they had heard it too. We couldn't imagine that such a thing was even possible and we were all just so excited at the news and thought about what an amazing gift it was for Kalamazoo. Uh, when I heard about the Primus, um, I still didn't really understand what it was because I was still uh, eight, in eighth grade actually, but it really took until I graduated high school and started seeing uh, other people at Western Michigan University talk about how lucky we were to have the Promise and kind of seeing how much it really impacted on our finances. I remember it very clearly. Um, we were actually hosting a party because I was signing my letter of intent to go to Western Michigan University to play baseball. Um, and it was in the middle of that party, my dad made the announcement that uh, KPS was going to announce the Kalamazoo Promise and that um, college tuition would be paid for. I just know the impact it had when um, you know they made the announcement public and we were all in school and just uh, the excitement. When the promise was announced, um, I had been in Kalamazoo about 20 years. My son had uh, just finished college at K College, or was just finishing, I guess. And he had received a new scholarship uh, that had been offered by the community and hadn't been implemented very well. So when I heard about the Kalamazoo promise, I knew that it had to get off the ground better than that one. So I actually contacted uh, Dr. Brown and just offered to be part of whoever was going to try to get it set up. It's been a great experience. The donors have really uh, been hands off. Um, it, it, it's just a great job where they let us do our job and really adapt to the students and to the situations. When I first heard about the promise, one could not help from be excited. I mean, I felt like I wanted to go back to school. And from a philanthropic standpoint, exceptional. That there were people who had such big hearts that they wanted to take some of their wealth and make sure other people had the same kind of experiences that they had. When the Kalamazoo Promise was first announced, many students had no idea that they were ever going to have the opportunity to go on to a post-secondary institution. But with the promise, that gave them that opportunity. 
Ten years ago, I don't think many people thought that this was a possibility and whether it would last. And it has, and it's made a difference in the lives of our community, but more importantly, our students. And we're seeing a difference in the students who come here, the focus that they have on careers, and the preparedness that they have in completing those uh, degrees or certificates. We have a number of children who come from families that not only don't have parents that went to college, their parents may not have graduated from high school. It's a big deal to be able to continue your education, to know that if you graduate from high school, that that doesn't have to be the end. It can be really a beginning of your higher education. That's pretty extraordinary, and that's a game changer for us. This can change families for generations. It just doesn't impact that individual who is going to college because an educated person educates their children. And if their children become educated, they educate their children. And as we know, when we look at finances in a family, the higher the education, the higher the incomes that come into that household, which means that it impacts it for years and years and years. I had a family that's insured with me. And at that time that the promise was announced, they have several children. Uh, he's was a mailman. She was seeking treatment in Florida for cancer. Their child was going to graduate. He wanted to go to college, but they had no way to send him to college. And so when this got announced, it was like the sky opened for them and it was God sent that now their child, who they wanted to have a better life, who they wanted to go to college, could now go to college. 10 years ago when we looked at the community, People knew the name Kalamazoo for a couple of reasons. It, either they knew the pharmaceutical business, so they knew the Upjohn Company, or they, we were the place with the funny name that they didn't know why they knew it, but they knew it. Today I travel and people all know Kalamazoo. And it's because of the promise and the national recognition that it's brought us. And in most cases, they don't know why they know it. They know it's, well, it's, that, it's that scholarship thing, right? But they know it and they have good feelings about Kalamazoo, and that just didn't exist 10 years ago. It's not a corporate recruitment strategy because corporations don't have children, people do. A friend of mine told me about the Kalamazoo Promise. They heard the announcement on TV, and they told us, you know, we're a large family, we have six kids, and you know, told me to look into it, research it, and I Googled it and checked it out and sure enough told my husband about it. At first he was apprehensive because he was, you know, didn't know anything about Michigan, neither did I, but after research we, you know, packed our van up, moved our kids here and enrolled into Kalamazoo Public Schools. <laughs> and it's been great ever since. I left in 2011 um, and I needed to kind of expand my horizons a little bit and gain a little bit more experience, but I came back to Kalamazoo because it's very much a town that's up and coming. Um, lots of people similar to me, my uh, situation, starting small businesses or moving here. Um, there's lots of other small companies that I work with that are here and every day I run into people that have moved here or are contemplating moving here and uh, Promise is a big lure for that. A few years ago we were living in Seattle, Washington and uh, started looking at uh, moving to a place where you could have a house and some land and buy an old building and just, just live more. Uh, yeah, and the Kalamazoo Promise uh, would allow us to, uh, I guess, get out of saving up a bunch of money for that. It was a couple years ago, I guess, when, when Dan, my buddy Dan, told me about it. Um, he was really selling the idea of living in Kalamazoo, and that was definitely one of his selling points. So that would have been the first one. and. That was pretty cool. I, first time I've heard of anything like that. So you know, just across from our office is a, is a restaurant that I eat breakfast at most days. And I remember right after the promise happened, there was a brand new waitress there. You know, I got to know her story and the fact that she was working, I think in Phoenix, Arizona, and a um, single mom, three kids, and said, as she tells the story to me, I'm gonna wait tables my whole life but I've got to make sure that my children have an education. And I can't do that on a waitress's salary. 
unless I live in Kalamazoo, Michigan. So she loaded up her three kids and all her belongings in their car, and she drove to Kalamazoo, Michigan, and she got a job waiting tables and, and committed that her children go to college and they would break that, that poverty cycle, they would break that um, cycle of lack of opportunity. They would change the world for their family. And that Kalamazoo, Michigan was the place that said, we love you and we love the future your children have and we want you to be part of greatness. So 10 years seems a long time. We're going to see the benefits of this begin to pay off 30 and 40 years from now when we break the cycle of poverty, when we no longer have families that are defined by the lack of expectations, by, defined by the lack of education, defined by the poverty indices, instead, we're all defined as people of promise. And that's what the Kalamazoo Promise does differently than any scholarship program ever created. The thought of someone saying, we're going to make this work, I mean, that's just phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's a wave that should have just shook the educational foundation of every public school in the country. The first community that emulated the Kalamazoo Promise was El Dorado, Arkansas. An oil company, Murphy Oil, read about it and said, this is what we want to do for our, our children. There's a couple of things that strike me when I think about the Kalamazoo promise and the influence on us. One, uh, it certainly influenced and inspired us to do the Eldorado promise. We almost certainly wouldn't have done it uh, if we hadn't learned about the Kalamazoo promise. And once we learned about it, we went to school on it and we copied it almost exactly. A few tweaks. Uh, but it was such a terrific idea that, uh, that we just almost adopted it. Um, secondly, it's been transformative. The Elder Raider Promise has been transformative for us. Uh, so thank you again uh, for that wonderful influence uh, and that wonderful direction that you provided us. Congratulations uh, and best of luck. It's been said by many, you know, Dr. Janice Brown, who sat with the donors, and had the opportunity to announce this wonderful gift and talk about some of the areas that she believes and that many believe are going to be impacted by the Kalamazoo Promise. We talk about it often, how this has to be a two-way conversation. The scholarship cannot lead a student. It has to be the secondary piece. The student's skills, their work ethic, their drive, their motivation, these are things that have to be cultivated. For Western Michigan University, when we have students who come to us from a promise, I sort of view that as the Kalamazoo promise delivered. But when we walk across that stage, degree in hand, that's the Kalamazoo promise fulfilled. And so that's been our strong commitment, is to make sure that we're doing everything that we can to help support students in any way possible. It's also helping us then learn more about the needs of all of our students, the kind of coaching, the tutoring, the support systems that need to be in place to make sure that every student has an opportunity. So while it's about the promise, it's also helping to make some, I think, fundamental changes in the nature of our university and what it is that we need to do to really get behind and support young people. And it doesn't get much better than that. I think the promise has affected my life by giving me a freedom I would have never had otherwise. The promise has affected my life in so many ways. I was able to go to Michigan State University, which I probably never would have done without it. I was able to pursue my degree in education, and now that I'm a teacher, um, it's given me the opportunity to give back to the community, so it's just a great thing for our community. You haven't really had a person in my family really go the distance to go to college. Either they went and didn't complete or they went dropped out and just, you know, gave it up. But as for my family, um, they're very proud of me. For me, it 
gave me motivation to want to be more successful. When I was planning on going to college, I thought that finances would be a huge factor uh, because my parents weren't able to help out financially. Uh, I come from a very middle class background and because the Kalamazoo Promise gave me 100% tuition, I was able to think beyond the finances and look at the universities and find which one was the best fit for me individually and for my education. My family and I are originally from Harare, Zimbabwe and we moved to Kalamazoo in 2000 and I attended Paramount Charter Academy in my first grade through my eighth grade year. And uh, three months into my eighth grade year, I actually uh, transferred to uh, Millwood Middle School. And uh, that was actually a time when my mom had passed away from cancer. And making that transition is such an early stage. So throughout high school, uh, the community has always been there for me and my family, which I'm really grateful for. So even though my overall goal is to go back to Zimbabwe, I still know that I, I want to be involved some way in Kalamazoo throughout my whole life because of the impact they've made for me and my family. The first 10 years of The Promise, so much of it was built in getting The Promise started, getting it up and running, helping other people understand how they can do this across the country if they so too choose to do it and find that this is a no-brainer. Investing in our youth is investing in our country. We now are going to focus on those who are struggling because that's where true community transformation will take place and everyone in our city elected officials and cities across the country are talking about community transformation and what that looks like and we know that that transformation is going to be steeped in helping those who have very little achieve and be more successful and be more able to contribute in their own communities and lift those communities up. So this is where the trailblazing begins. We know the issue. And one thing is for sure, we didn't discover any of this. Data has been showing this forever. But now with something such as this scholarship, how do we get to leverage that against all other community resources and assets to make sure that all students are successful? So here we go, another 10 years, game on community transformation underway. The Kalamazoo Promise. It's a drum beat that's been picking up speed. The sound of promise in Kalamazoo. Free college tuition program that has gotten national attention. The Kalamazoo Promise. It's a gift of tremendous generosity. Barack Obama President. We may never know those donors' names, but we know how they helped bring this community together and how you've embraced their promise not just as a gift to be appreciated, but a responsibility to be fulfilled. Not for recognition or reward, but because of their connection to this community, because their belief in your potential. And with the education you've gotten here, there's nothing you can't do. Thank you very much, everybody. The walls have truly come down. And the Kalamazoo Promise lives on. It's now been 10 years that the Kalamazoo Promise has been helping students succeed in higher education. It put West Michigan on the national map when it comes to education. The announcement of the Kalamazoo Promise changed my entire life. Not only my life, but the life of all my classmates. Kalamazoo, thank you for inspiring us to take seriously the futures of our kids and our cities and for showing us how it can be done. Happy 10th anniversary. Congratulations, Kalamazoo Promise, on 10 years of successfully delivering the Promise Movement to the nation. So many places have been inspired by what you began, and now we proudly support our young people in the city through New Haven Promise. Best wishes on the next 10 years and beyond.